what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so we made it to august and i wanted to bring back one of the series that i usually do every month or so and it is basically my monthly progression goals and you guys can follow along with me as well so if you guys have watched the previous one it's not like something new on the channel but it's basically every week i'll give you a video update on what kind of goals i've accomplished or what kind of weekly progression I've made and so I wanted to start off with week one being today and tell you about what the things I'm going to be doing in the game are so maybe you guys can follow along that's cool too so we are starting off first of all with 31 billion silver and ever since the past like two weeks one of our goals that we got was actually done and we got our compass piece finally after like over 500 hours of grinding Elton's and um, or history of our Elton piece. We finally did it. We have the video. You guys can watch that too. And so I think our next goal is to eventually transition into one of two things. One being a Pen Debereka necklace, which is, you know, kind of scary to go for because you either get it at Tet and hope to slam it to Pen yourself which is kind of scary just as a general thing. Or you buy it at Penn, which I don't think um, there's going to be many sitting at Penn ever in the near future. Because right now, they raised the price of Debereka accessories. And so Tets just sit on a market. And I'm not sure if this is going to be like a new thing because they, they do sit now at under 100 billion, which I think is good. That's the more realistic price when back in the day, it used to be a, what, like 70 billion or something. So once they raised it, it showed the true value of what I think their cost is. And the pen is 300 billion when it's capped, I believe. And this is capped. Yeah, so 300 billion. So eventually the goal is to get either a pen Debo belt or a pen Debo neck. Um, realistically, I think the necklace is the one you should get first over the belt, just in case you are within the progression range I am, because this one gives 5 AP from, let's say you have a Penogre, so 5 AP at the same price, and Debo belt, assuming you have a, um, Basilisk or Voltara, basically not a Tungred, it's a 4 AP, which is also, you know, the same thing. So, yeah, one is 5 AP, one is 4 AP. The prices are roughly the same. So I think the necklace is always the one you should go for first. And yeah, so that's one of our goals. And then our next thing on our long term goal is the rich merchant ring. There's five of them, and that's not going to be a thing I can get in one month because that's just like a long grind. So that's the overall goal. I think a lot of August, I'm going to be trying for the Debereka necklace just because that's one of the goals, as well as our final pen accessory. I think I might actually go for a pen Dawn because I do PvP a lot. And one of the things is I would want is more accuracy. So I think having one Disto at pen and one Dawn earring, which is um this thingy is a good trade-off of ap for the amount of accuracy for at least where i'm at and so yeah one is uh like 160 billion one is 200 so either way my goals in this game are very difficult but i think one thing i might do just like as a mini thing if i can't get the debarek at pen straight up is we've been ordering costumes and we have uh, 46 costumes that we have been saving it for quite a while now, so it's just not like I'm getting them all at once. And so, yeah, we have to save up enough Tron stones for that. That's cool. And let's see, what else are we going for? I think I'm going to try new grind spots as well that I haven't really made videos of the. So, like, I'll try to see if I could do the Dekia's Lantern Olins. I know that one's kind of scary, but I'm going to try it while the event where we don't lose crystals is still on. And maybe a little bit of Crypt of Resting Thoughts. I don't know how efficiently I can do it. Like, I think if you're doing efficiency, you have to run there in a two-person group with, like, a Shy or something. So that's kind of where I'm at. 
But anyway, throughout the month, we're just going to see how much silver I can make or what kind of goals I could accomplish through that time. And so I guess one of them is like saving up 100 billion silver and then buying a Tet Debo and hopefully slamming it to pen on our... Well, it's not really our first tap because in my older videos, we've actually tried to click for pen and obviously it didn't go. But so I think this will be like attempt number three because... I, I don't know what to say. Like, going for pen debos is a really late game item. And it's like, what, 11,000 crons? A little bit more than that per tet to pen click. Plus, you pay like 100 billion for the thing. So, you're basically paying 100 billion for like a 12%. And when it downgrades, it just does not feel good. So, I think I have to grind for some base necklaces and then just hope for the best. And hopefully they actually go. So yeah, that's one of the things we're going to go for in August. And then next thing is probably getting or changing up some of my artifacts. So right now we have... Uh, where is it? We have a aerial crystal or light stone in there. And I want to switch that up to a strike crystal. So that's 10 billion for two of these. And that's, uh, that's an easy goal I think I could do. But... It's just honestly getting it. So let me just show you. Light stones, fire, strike crystals. What a number is going down. Like if I put an order on, I could just get it. But I think I would rather save for a pen depo and uh, try to get that. So at least one thing I've been doing that I haven't seen others do is at least I have a necklace to use right now because I've been seeing people trying to cron their main. Like, they have a Tet Debo and they are just, like, croning for pen. And then when it downsgrades, you just lose AP. So I'm just like, nah, that's I can't. Like, losing AP in this game actually feels bad. So, yeah. This, like, is a adventure that I'm going to go on. And I think a few other things that we're going to be doing as well is doing the second and third uh Adaraxian dungeons. Now, I've done the second one a few times. I've done the story for the third one in the solo mode, but I've never done it on the Elvia difficulty, so I think that's a good time to actually learn it. And um, I've seen people do it, so I kind of have an idea of what to do. But overall, week one, those have been my goals for this game. And then I think in August, they're coming out with the Underwater Palace like event thingy. Or like the summer event. So we're going to be doing that as well. And we'll talk about all the upcoming balance changes and or quality of life things that are happening in the month, I believe. So we all know that the cron price is getting changed. There's going to be a lot of improvements in terms of like grind spots and uh, guild decks and everything. So we'll talk about that in another video. But yeah, overall, just want to talk to you guys about this, where we're starting for week one. And yeah, every week I'll give you a new update and stay alert for some of the other videos I'm going to be doing. Every month we do a window shopping series. If you want to watch the July edition, um, I'll leave it in the description. Basically, we what I do for the window shopping series is we look at all the relevant items on the market and we look at trends. Like, let's see how much they have increased or decreased throughout the month. And talk about some notable items, like for example, what we talked about earlier. Debarekas got buffed in the recent patch where the prices got raised in a cap. So, yeah, that in that series I talk about all the items that I think are notable. Should you make it? Should you buy it? And or like, is it worth getting at this time? So stay tuned for that one. And yeah, that's about it. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to leave a clip at the end. We are doing eight course attempts for our tier nine. And yeah, you guys are going to see that already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Before I head out, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you guys come back. And I make videos for new players, returning players, people who are just looking to get better. Always happy to answer questions, whether it's in the comments or on Discord. And we have about two and a half weeks left of my affiliate code on screen so if you are thinking about trying out the game upgrading your game to the like from normal to the conquerors or legendary edition whatever it's called um, i got a small portion of that 
along with any A coins you are purchasing. So if you're you're planning on buying any pearls and you use my code, I get a small portion and I'd really appreciate it. So with that said, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I'll see you guys for more upcoming videos tomorrow and throughout the entire month. So see you guys later. Peace. All right, guys, we are back once again at the Stone Tail Ranch. Why? I don't know, because we kept saving up a lot of those event materials. And today we are going to be going for another um, tier nine. And last time we left off, we have 18 stacks. That doesn't feel good. And I think we have, I don't actually know how many, but anyway, we have eight attempts at maximum. So yeah, 4.6%. That doesn't feel too good. All right, anyway, attempt number 19 and attempt number, well, I guess one for today. Let's go. If I could get another Peggy, that would be nice. Of course not. My, my RNG is terrible. All right, um, get 20 of that. I don't know. I'm just kind of like trying to evenly distribute them so I could maximize my attempts all right so in theory i think if we were to get another one the highest chance right now would be for a doom so like skill is a uh, pegasus elegance is a unicorn and of course strength is doom so i wouldn't mind another doom i wouldn't really mind either of those i kind of don't really want a unicorn but it's not the worst thing you can get well actually I don't know what the tier 10 Doom does, but I kind of want to get one. So either way, attempt number two or 20 total. I think my average on hitting tier nines is probably like within 20, mid 20s, which ultimately is not that bad. Fail stack number 21. You should always cron every attempt, by the way. Even if it fails, you cron every attempt. Uh, I guess we'll send 25 into here. 20 over here. And another 6. I kind of hope this one doesn't go, but if it does, like, and we get a unicorn, that's fine. I don't want to be the next Reddit meme, to be honest. Have you guys seen the screenshot of some dude with like a 90 stack? I was like, how is that even possible? But apparently it do be like that. Ooh, that lingered a little bit. I thought it was going. Okay, so you want to send like 30 of these. Then... 10... 10. I kind of hope this one doesn't go, to be honest. I don't really want a unicorn, but I gotta like even out the materials. And then next time we'll do Pegasus higher. Attempt number 24. I'm going to be honest, I don't even know what... Ooh. Dang, someone hit a pen. I don't know why I'm even still clicking for tier 9s. Wait, that's 40. I want, uh, like, 12. So, Pegasus has the highest chance right now. Temp number 25. You know, all these cron stones that we got were from those Shikatu boxes from the video you saw yesterday. That was kind of funny. Okay. 
I think I overed it by 2%. Eh, it's okay. We got one attempt in, or uh, this is the last one anyway. So attempt number 26. 6%, man. Okay, so to give you an idea, before we click it, each attempt is like 550 mil, the cronstone cost, of course, plus the, if you were to buy these materials at 2.5 mil each, uh, times 100, so. It's actually like 350 plus the Krog Dollar Stone. Yeah, it's either way, it's expensive. Every two clicks is like over a billion silver. 26. Holy. This horse does not want to go. I'll be honest, like, I don't want to be the next Reddit meme, but <laughs> I feel like it might happen. So. That's it for this one. We're on a 26 stack and we'll be back whenever I get more materials. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.